Hello everybody, good morning. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a recap of our 2022 homeschool year because, because we do school the same as the calendar year. It goes January to December. So let's get into it. Once again, welcome. If you haven't subscribed already, please do go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to like and leave a comment if you have any questions or comments. Okay, so today I wanted to chat about our 2022 homeschool year and how we wrap that up. Um, I actually did a lot of that wrapping up today. So I'm gonna show you some of the footage of that wrapping up. But basically what, what we do is after the school year is over, we'll update the Trello portfolio, which is our online digital portfolio, which I will leave a little link in the description as to a little bit about our, our digital portfolio. We do physical portfolios as well. This year was a little weird because I had a baby and we forgot to make the physical portfolios at the beginning of the year and then we just never got to it. So I actually am just putting them in folders in our filing cabinets with, with the other curriculum that we have. So. I also went through and um, so digital portfolio, physical portfolio, I go through the school cart and make sure everything is organized and just ready for the new year. And then I can also go through some of the curriculum that we used for this year, uh, this last year as well. Next week, I'm hoping to talk about our 2023 year and how we're planning that and what's going on for that. And I'm really excited because we're putting some changes in. We're keeping some things the same because my six year old is like, no, don't change anything. I love school mom. And I'm like, okay, well, that's really good. <laughs> But I'm changing a little bit um, and I'll talk about that more in a, in a few minutes. So here is the organization that we've been going through, the um, sorting, the putting in folders and the putting in the filing cabinet. My filing cabinets are a little bit messy right now because well, we moved this last year and it's almost been a year so I can't use that as an excuse anymore. But we have a smaller office and my husband and I have been trying to figure out how to downsize some of the stuff that we have so that we can both use the office. It's a whole thing. Anyways, without any more further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, first thing I did was I got all of the supplies out that I had not organized yet. I did organize a few times during the school year. So this is all stuff that's like from October through December. So first thing I went and separated them into three piles, which is there's an Ellie, 2022 folder, a will 2022 folder, and a folder of things that just need to be photographed, put into the digital portfolio, and then we can just get rid of those extra papers. Or there's still things that we're going to be using, like our history journal um, and some of the poetry copy work. So after I sorted those into the piles, I went ahead and sorted the other extra piles of things that uh, didn't need to be there, but ended up in that pile somehow. And then there was also some other things that my daughter had gotten into from 2017 schooling from when she was like three. Yes, or four. I can't do math right now. Anyways, so I went ahead and organized all those, got them all into the piles. My kids were dancing and having fun. I was listening to our last night and headbanging because that's just what we do. And if you pay attention to my little kid, he is too. Then I went ahead and went and put him in the filing cabinets. And like I mentioned, they're not really organized right now. But um, maybe that'll be on the list for this year. So that's what these are. And that's what I got done. And I still need to take the photographs, but I'm going to go ahead and put them into the digital portfolio. And I'm going to get ready to show you that digital portfolio. So this is last year's portfolio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move a few things over because I realized I didn't do that yet. But I have a video, like a whole video of setting up your Trello portfolio, which I will also link in the description. Um, I have a few videos on that actually, and I'll link all of them. So in my journal is all of the terms, all of the weeks that we've completed. And what I'll do for the little picture is put our schedule as the little picture. And then I go inside, attach any images of things that we had done that week or that term, you know, copies of their work, descriptions of anything that I wanted to save for later, because we're in Utah. It's a very, very low regulation state we don't need a portfolio but I keep one for my own records and just in case we ever move to a state that maybe has a little higher regulation or I just like to be able to help out other people too so that is the digital portfolio 
I hope that's helpful. I hope that if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you will leave me a comment. I like to respond to all my comments. Please don't forget to like this video, share it if you feel like someone could benefit from it, and don't forget to subscribe. We're sharing videos every week. Sometimes I share more than one in a week, and I really wanna say I appreciate all of you, appreciate you for being here, and I really hope that that was helpful. I'm going to be, like I said, hopefully posting about our 2023 school year next week. I'm going to leave in the description some of the curriculum that we did use for this year. And then if you want that, um, the homeschool term schedules that we have, there's actually in the subscriber freebie library. So if you join our email list, again, link in the description, you can then go grab those and you can see some of the, um, the schedules that we actually used for the year two. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Love you all. Have a fantastic day and a great year.